So when you get the IVF cycle done, you think there are a lot of risk factors involved in the IVF pregnancy. So definitely there is a risk factor when you are getting pregnant. And if you are getting pregnant naturally, then also there are risk factors. If you are getting pregnant through IVF, then also there are risk factors. So in IVF, obviously the risk factor is increasing because the pregnancy has come in a very precious way. It's not that the IVF procedure is increasing the risk factors, but there are many things that happens with the IVF pregnancy that usually patients who are ha of like higher maternal age or higher paternal age opt for IVF cycles. So obviously in that case, all the risks that are in involved with advanced maternal or paternal age is there. There is no such thing that if you are getting an IVF cycle done, there is increased chances of genetic anomaly in the baby. It doesn't happen. But obviously, if we are doing an ICSI done, then there is a slight increase of risk. But that is also not very much that we can talk about it or it is not statistically there that it poses a risk to the community. So this is the point that everybody should be like, like they are so much stressed out when we do the IVF cycle after the embryo transfer. They say, why so many medicines are given? So these so many medicines are given just to support your pregnancy because we are putting the baby in you. It's not like you are trying with your husband each cycle. So much money has been put in it. Plus, if you are going for IVF cycle, there are problems in your body that need like hormonal problems that need to be addressed. So for addressing this, we need you. We need to give you hormonal support. So usually what happens if a patient is undergoing IVF, either they have been trying for long, that means there is some hormonal imbalance or some kind of imbalance in the body or there might be a chance of they are having recurrent implantation failure. In that cases, we will be needing more of progesterone to pump in your body or if you have an advanced maternal age, we need to give you progesterone. Plus, if you are having an advanced stage, you are at risk of so many medical complications. You might be having a multiple pregnancy also because of IVF. So you run a risk of having a preterm delivery or you might run a risk of having cervical incompetence because many procedures have already been done on your body many times dnc hysteroscopies these have been done so in that cases we need to give cervical encerclage we need to tighten your cervix so these are some of the things there are risks that are associated with the ivf pregnancy but it does not say that you are getting an IVF done, so it is being done. No, there are the predisposing factors that are leading to these complications. It's not the IVF itself that is leading to these complications. You need to put this in your mind and it is very essential because you need to be very much stress-free when you are pregnant, whether you are through IVF or naturally. We care about you.